right, so this is after the trip to the junkyard to get the roll cage. Um, starting to do the work on the motor and stuff, like water pump and uh, hoses and radiator and all of that. I'll show you what's going on. So I drained all the coolant like a couple of days ago. This radiator is like pretty much all rust at this point. It's it's pretty messed up. So um, got to discon disconnect the upper hose and uh, the lower hose is already done. The shroud is loose and set aside. Um, I got to undo the metal bolts on that side and then I'm just going to cut that hose. This is supposed to be attached to the radiator, so that's good. Uh, down wasn't what I was thinking, but I guess uh, down works. So, that's out of the way. Take this off right now. Cool. So far, so good. Have a new alternator, have a new water pump. Got the stuff to block off the oil metering pump, so we've got to take all that apart. Um, there's a spacer that's supposed to go here. It should be in there that I have that for some reason was under the carb, I guess. I don't know when that would have happened, but we'll take care of it. So we'll address all of that. So this belt is good. It's relatively new within like a, a few months. Um, sneak it off of there. Set that aside. So Gonna keep the clutch fan, I guess. Um, have to swap it over or swap the pulley over to the uh, the new water pump. The clutch fan seems to still be good, so that's good. Um, what size is that? Millimeter. Have to see what my core charge is. I, I don't think it's I think it's like five dollars or something, so I don't even know if it's worth shipping back to them. So 
So now that's off. See the top of the water pump housing. Um, these are little 10 millimeters, which I think I can hold onto the back of the clutch fan and undo those. Might be a pain in the ass, I don't know, we'll see. I'll, I'll just come back when it's on. So a little trick, um, you can take the belt and I mean, ideally, what I should have done was loosen it, loosen all the bolts while the alternator was still on, but we didn't do that. So if uh, you forget, you can pull the belt with one hand and loosen the bolts with the other. And it, it keeps tension on the pulley and thus allows you to loosen the bolts. These aren't crazy tight. They're not supposed to be. Anyways, you don't have to, because they'll break. They're so small. I think they're like little M M8s or M10s or something. I don't know. I know standard thread bolts. I don't, I don't remember metric thread anymore. So clutch fans off. The water pump is, uh, the pulley is only four 10 millimeters. So I'll take that off and see what's up. That always makes it easier. Blast them off with uh, the uh, little impact. So, the harmonic balancer has a additional pulley added. Um, I don't even need that anymore since I only run an alternator so that is gonna get deleted right now need that anymore now this comes off nice and easy can get to the water pump I've never uh, changed this I believe it, it may have been changed ah uh, maybe not it says Japan on there still so it's probably a safe bet that it hasn't been changed but I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here today I've been doing too much car stuff so what what's left to do tomorrow is the water pump clean up everything um block off the oil metering pump which is that guy right there do new uh upper lower radiator hose again clean as much as i physically can and um maybe i'll do the oil pan gasket tomorrow i don't really want to but it needs to be done it's leaking pretty bad so um i'm gonna end it here i'm trying to keep the videos really short i mean i say really short hopefully under 10 minutes uh so i can make more of them consistently and not have four or five months between videos and um i know i have a short attention span so I don't really like watching really long videos. There's like only a couple people who I'll, I'll, I'll sit and watch the whole video like 
uh, Puddin's Fab Shop. Oh, thanks for watching.